Hey everybody, Rashid here with another episode of uh, of understanding the scaling of the transistor. Some people ask me to explain the operation of the transistor a little bit more about um, uh, how VT roll-off happens at short channels. So I thought I could share a couple of um, pictures there which I already made. I will quickly explain the basic transistor operation and then how short channel uh, affects that. Um, and then we will look into how to minimize this roll off uh, in short channels and uh, yeah a couple of things that uh, people have been doing and uh, what part of the the 0.25 or 0.35 uh, micron technology so if you look at uh, maybe let's look at the, the bottom picture so this one uh, so th this one is a long channel. I try to make the channel pretty long. Okay, so just to explain the concept the top picture is where you know this channel is pretty small compared to uh, your source and drain regions. So what happens uh, in the normal transistor? So if you look at P plus, okay, it's connected to ground both source and drain in the beginning are both are at zero so um, that zero makes this junction and this junction reverse biased and and you know that when a pn junction is reverse biased a depletion region is formed um, at the boundary where on the n plus um, side normally has majority electron as carriers while P plus has a um, lot of positives um, holes which you know as major carriers and electronins are in minority okay so what we have here is initially okay even even here you have all the let's we will rub them so even here you have positives This is happens initially. Okay, now when you start applying um, a positive voltage here, okay, uh, then because of this positive voltage, the positive ions on this plate, um, they really, um, well, I should not have put them here. They, they really start accumulating here. All right, let's put plus. Let's, let's do this positive now. And so this, this part, this is a dielectric, okay? So it, it makes a, a capacitor. So when the positives are here, they pull uh, the, they pull electrons, the minority carrier, which are here, goes there. So eventually what happens is, when gate this is a this is gate when gate to source voltage is at a voltage level we call threshold level then a strong inversion happens this all gets positive and we have a, a kind of area underneath this dielectric uh, that has electrons there so right now these electrons are not moving okay they are still there but there's like a you have a channel of electrons so as soon as you and keep in mind these are reverse biased too as soon as you start applying some drain voltage uh, what happens is these electron they they feel a pull toward that side so they start moving okay and eventually as a result of that you have electrons going in here there and then going into through the junction into the drain okay so that's how our long channel or our favorite channel works okay and you know that in this region um if you remember the if you plot you know this is a typical plot we learned when you on a given uh gate source voltage uh, so when you start applying more after threshold you know current increases linearly 
Uh, so okay, so initially it's it's turned on. This area is is a linear one. Now at some point, at some value of uh, drain to source, we reach a region called saturation region. And what happens, that's called VD set. And after that value of drain to source voltage, actually there is no further increase in current as a result of increasing drain to source voltage. Um, the reason is that um, here the pinch off happens. So your channel instead of that rectangle thing, it starts becoming, let's pick a different uh, let's pick a different color. So what happens is we have okay, channel is becomes like this and gradually it becomes more um, pinch off here. So now electrons here still as a result of higher drain to source voltage are really sneak there. But at that time drain to source voltage is really not increasing the current and that's why this part is called saturation. The current kind of saturates there. Now, if you increase gate to source voltage, you know, it's, it's gonna increase. So at that time, the current is really dependent on, on gate voltage, okay? Now, the one other plot, if you plot the gate to source voltage uh, with ID, okay? Um, what happens is it's something um, like this, okay? Initially, at VT, the gate to source voltage, which is a threshold voltage, starts conducting current. Okay, it's like that. All right. Now, start conducting. Now, important thing is, if you look at this long channel, you know what we are looking at really is a gate. This field. Oh uh, yeah, this makes it cleaner. By the way, these are, oops, let's open a new layer. These are actually, these are over here, okay. So in this one, uh, this strong water, let's pick a better color, the green. This vertical field is the main driving factor. Of creating a channel uh, creating the gear voltage here creates an inversion and as a result you make a current flow here okay and you know these channels these reverse bias regions and this drain voltage you know doesn't override the main control of of gate voltage however when the channel gets shorter okay and what happens is that now you look at this area over here um this is um, pretty small now uh, compared to this region this region and also the effect of drain voltage now is getting closer right is much more on on this region okay now the result impact is okay this this positives gonna pull create electrons here uh, this is gonna create electrons here and as the gate the, the threshold voltage you know the value of gate to source voltage at a long channel you were able to turn on that transistor you were able to turn on this panel it's actually you are kind of turning it on a little bit earlier. Okay. So this is typically typically car look at the fact of now this area is a bigger portion. This has a bigger impact that this 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 overlap is bigger now. Okay. So it's kind of affect your junction, it makes the channel. Not entirely due to uh, this gate voltage, but it has 
this inversion is also contributed and a current flowing is also caused by uh, by the uh, the drain voltage um, another effect of moving this current earlier on is you see that uh, that this now at zero gate voltage or before threshold you don't have a zero current you you are still conducting which is called sub threshold current so your current is not entirely zero that means it's more leaky now right now how we can um reduce this short channel and really want to make this the gate um voltage as uh, the main deciding factor in terms of creating a channel or making current flows uh, what we can do is three things uh, one is okay so far we were you know thinking about scaling this area only which is the length of the the transistor now we need to think of you know vertical shrinking um, as well so we need to make them smaller okay so this whole thing gets smaller here yeah. okay that's one thing right the other thing is this this area we also want to make it smaller you know the tighter channel we have here will have a more effect of the that's voltage and less effect of these things okay so junction depth we want to make smaller then this vertical channel we want to make smaller so that's more impact closer it stays within the gate a more impact it will have and one way of of doing that or having gate more control is we make this dielectric uh, smaller so silicon dioxide which was one of the scaling factor needs to go down to have gate more impact there uh, the other thing we can also do is to to make the uh, the impurity level high so if there are more pluses okay um, then we will have you know better control more smaller channel will be created here okay but you know when initially if you remember when we didn't have any inversion we had more positives um, so you know less electron in this region means mobility of electrons won't be much so what we don't want to do is we want to keep this area as high mobility so low impurity in this area but we want to make a higher impurity of p plus more holes in this area okay higher impurity will make strong electric fields but here it's okay to make strong electric fields okay we don't want a current there but here we don't want very strong electric fields because we want to reduce the effect of this lateral electric field and have this vertical one to be more effective so having low impurity here also reduces the junction um, capacitance here so it, it will be good for all those reasons okay so impurity high reduction t works and junction depth we want to make that smaller so those are some of the ways we can uh, reduce the threshold roll off okay i think that's it for today um in the next video maybe we need to look at some other factors okay now when the tux gets smaller what are some of the other issues so we look at that and then we look at directly into a 0.35 uh, micron technology what kind of different parameters what kind of channel length we had there um, and then after 3.35 we look at 0 0.25 0 0.18 0 0.130 and then we go further down so I'm, i think that would be very interesting i hope you you enjoyed it and if you have any questions you can always ask me on linkedin or uh, uh, you can send me email at i think it's fizzasic at gmail.com so take care thanks bye